A local three-year-old and her robot take their first steps together. We were there to see the invention of some very dedicated high school students in action. The I-Team's Courtney Garish has been following this story for more than a year. Courtney, this little girl has uh, defied medical odds, huh? George, she has over and over again. These teenagers turned their biggest challenge as a robotics team into something that will change the life of this little girl from Menominee Falls. We first met Vivian Johnson and her family through an I-Team investigation. That turned into a new story about a little girl who wants to do what every other three-year-old can and the high school students helping her achieve that. Look at her go. Where are you going? Vivian Johnson is on the move. Keeping up with her, Vivian's very own robot. I don't think that they understand like how huge this is. And it's more than just an assignment for the local high school students who built it. She is just go, go, go all the time. We can't keep her still. But before now, Vivian couldn't just stand up and go like other three-year-olds. Right now she's got five feet to work with. Vivian is attached to all this medical equipment equipment she needs to live. The ventilator helps her breathe. Doctors never expected Vivian to walk. When she took her first steps, mom Sarah had a big problem. I think if anything is holding her back, it's us. It's just we're not able to let her go wherever she wants to go. When Vivian walks, Sarah becomes a pack horse, lugging 50 pounds of equipment while also trying to guide Vivian's walker. We honestly don't carry it around the house very much because it's hard and it gets tangled and she's faster than I am. But Vivian's new companion is programmed to keep up. I know, it's so cool, isn't it? A robot that will follow her everywhere she goes. It's just insane. I never thought we'd actually be to this point. These St. Francis High School students designed, built, and programmed the robot. This is really what is going to change the world and what makes robotics so important. The SF Robotics team has been working on this project for more than a year. Push this way. Yeah. And we followed them through the process. Try a different one. One that hasn't been yeah. easy. Starting out, we had no idea what we were even doing. And now their biggest challenge. It's like a puzzle. Is that wrong? Is about to be put to the test. Do you want to walk? Vivian didn't waste any time taking off. Vivian, let me keep up. As Vivian cruised around the house, the team took notes. It seems like the robot is acting kind of weird when it's on carpet. Keeping a running list of what to tweak, they'll also work on a small design change to make loading Vivian's equipment easier. We made it so that we can change these fairly simply. Although not perfect, the students were happy with how their robot performed. I think for a first run, like first time in the house moving around, it's done quite well. This is the furthest Vivian has walked in her own house. That means discovering new things. That's glass. No, no. Like the pots and pans cabinet. I know that she's different, but I want her to be able to feel like everyone else and be able to go wherever she wants to go without being limited. Something these high school students have worked so hard to give Vivian, and in return, she's given them a life-changing assignment. If that doesn't like fill fill your heart with joy, I don't know what what else will. And the students drove the robot at Vivian's house with a controller. The goal is to have it work independently, meaning sensors will help the robot avoid obstacles, keep up with Vivian, and also know where she's going. That's a great story, and this has really been a community effort, Courtney. It really has. Most of the materials and electronics were donated by local and also some out-of-state companies, and the students also worked with an MSOE mentor and consulted with biomedical engineers from the VA. Now they just have to figure out how to put a Roomba on the bottom. I'm, I'm, I'm buying good, stock in those like kids. It. They're going to set the world yeah. on fire. Sarah wants to be able to vacuum at the same time. That's a, that's a good idea. I bet those kids can do it. Courtney, thank you very much. Well, we've obviously been following Vivian's journey for several years. Take a look back at her long journey on this special page at TMJ4.com and on our app as well.